Now I've just uh, turned the coffee down uh, to a simmer, to very low heat, and uh, uh, I forgot to mention it's good to have a little clock nearby or just somewhere where you can see it. And it's five, uh, it's 25 past 12. This is just in the middle of the day, so I usually do this in the morning, but this is to show you. So at about 20 to 1, we're going to turn it off, so it needs to simmer for a quarter of an hour. And also when you're doing the coffee enema, uh, it's good to check the, the time, because it's only a certain amount of time you have it. If this is called a retention enema, because you retain, you keep the coffee in, uh, in the bowel. And um, I, I could have told you more about the, the, the actual physical things that are going on, but what happens is that when the coffee goes into this, uh, it only goes into the, to the actually very last bit of your colon. When it lies there, there's these uh, veins, hemordial veins or something they're called, that, uh, that supply or that take, um, uh, that have contact with this part of the colon. I'm not very clever at this. But what I know is that the caffeine and other substances in the coffee, they go into the vein, straight into the vein, and they are, the vein brings the, the, these substances from the coffee straight up to the liver. And what the liver does is it, it throws a lot of bile out, and with this bile there's heaps of toxins. So what's very important when you start to do coffee enemas is that you make sure you're on a, a nutrient-rich diet. So you're getting lots of good minerals, uh, because you're, you're flushing lots of minerals out of the body, so you make sure that you're getting them in, because otherwise you can actually deplete the body of a uh, very important um, uh, nutrients. So make sure that if you're on a fast, that it is a broth fast or a, a juice fast with lots of minerals. You never do this on a water fast. So anyway, this is all the things that we need. We need a couple of jugs. Uh, when we're, we're doing two, we need a couple of jugs. Uh, and when you're cooking the coffee in the morning, you can use it all the day. But if uh, you have to make fresh coffee every day. Uh, you can't use the coffee I'm making now. I can't use tomorrow. It will be too old. We've got our beautiful enema bag. And we need some... I use ghee, just like for everything else. I use ghee uh, to rub onto my anus, onto the bottom, before I put this into the bottom. You can also just rub it onto this. Just rub it onto this. Some people do that. I just put it on my bottom to make it slide in because otherwise you're going to have to push it. And whenever you're doing an enema, never push yourself. Just always be very gentle. Um, and what we need is some towels, some old towels. It's good to have a couple of towels because you're going to spill some coffee. Uh, and, um, and it's good to have a sort of dark color. And you need a rug, a woolen rug. I've got that here. And I just lie on the floor in, a, in our bathroom. Um, I use this rug because I'm lying on this rug, and I put. I'll show you what I do. Uh, but it's good to to make sure that if you have a big family or you're living with someone, make sure you have uh, time and you have peace and quiet for yourself. Lock the door so you're not being disturbed. Because the first time, like everything else, it can be pretty <laughs> uh, pretty difficult. Um, and you have this to put in your pants uh, while the coffee's in your bowel. Because sometimes when the coffee's in there, it wants to come out. And the good idea is, if you haven't had a bowel movement for a while, do a water enema. And that's simply taking maybe half a litre of water. Just take And make sure it's filtered water. I forgot to say that. You just take half a litre of of lukewarm water. It mustn't be chlorinated water. You don't want to put chlorinate chlorine into your body at all, actually. So we don't have that in Denmark, chlorine in the water. And I have my own well water, so I just use the water. But if you have chlorine in your water, make sure it's filtered water you're using. And to do a water enema, you're just, uh, you just put... Uh, you always shut this, because that means it, nothing can, it can't run out. 
and you pour the lukewarm water. Make sure it's not it's not hot, it's just the body temperature. And you hang it up and you lie down and put the put the water in. I'll show you how to like make it to run into the to the bowel well. And you just uh, maybe massage your bowel a bit and go to the toilet. That way you've emptied the last bit of your colon so the coffee can run in and so when the coffee is there it's going to feel more comfortable. But sometimes uh, because the coffee is working so much and making the bowels really work, uh, it will try to press out. And so having this towards your bottom and you just, when you feel the urge coming, where the coffee really wants to come out, you can just press towards your bottom with this, as a little bit will run out, and just hold your sphincter, or what it's called, your anus, hold it really tight, and breathe deep. And then in a few seconds, you'll hear this, the bowel <coughs> taking back the coffee and relaxing again. And you can just relax again. So I'll just pull this out. And I could show you how I get myself organized. Now I've shut this now, so it's not going to run out. And I'm going to hang it up. I'll show you where I do it. It's good to be really close to a toilet because uh, you're going to, sometimes you just cannot hold it. And, and you're just going to have to go to the toilet or have a bucket next to you. But so so this is this is the blanket I have on on the floor here, uh, and the toilet is just behind us, the towel. And here I have my enema bag hanging, and it's good to have it in a in a sort of certain good height, maybe one meter off the ground. And I put this towel, put this towel here on this end. Oh, I'll just put the camera so we can see it. Maybe just turn down like that. Here we go. So we're down here and I put the towel like this and you have this ready. And what you're going to do See if you can see me. There's not much light here, unfortunately. I'll show you what, what we're going to do. Now we're down on on the on the blanket here, and when you put the coffee, uh, when the coffee is put in here, I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, you rub some of this ghee on your bottom, and you put. Make sure it's locked here. And actually, uh, I'm going to show you this. You make sure that there, there will be some air in this. And you just make sure the air comes out. I'll show you how to. But the way to lie is quite important. So you put it up your bottom. And you lie like this. Um, or you can, you can also go like this. Lie like this. And let the coffee run in. So, uh, but usually uh, it's best to lie on your right side uh, and you let the coffee run in and you can see it, that's what's good about this, you can see the coffee running. And then you just pull it out and because you have this towel here, it doesn't matter that you have a bit of coffee running out. So here we are. Now our coffee's ready. And I'll show you how it Watch out you don't burn yourself. This is not a proper lid, but it is a lid, some sort of a lid. Here we are. Just watch out, it's really hot of course. And now I have this little sieve. That's just my very simple way of doing it. Of course, like everything else, you can do this many different ways. Uh, it might be a bit early, but it should have been simmered, simmering for a quarter of an hour. 
and often there will be uh, some residue, some coffee up on the sides here. I don't know if you can see that because of the steam. So I just go like this to get all the coffee, beautiful stuff that's up on the sides. Get that down as much as I can. And I just pour it through, just pour it slowly because then the uh, coffee beans, or what you call it, they will be on the bottom of the pot if you just pour slowly. And to make sure I'm getting as much as possible, I just put, I put some cold water in there. Do it again. Just let it go slowly because then you're not pouring all the coffee into the strainer. It's going to take a long time. And there's a bit in here so I just go like that. And I finish with that pot. And I rinse this. Now we have, we have uh, an amount, half a litre of those here. And we want to make two coffee enemas. So I'm going to fill this up to a litre. And because I want two enemas, I'll put the half litre for, for tonight. I'm going to have that for tonight. And the other half litre I'm going to have now. And when you're beginning, uh, you might not like to have so much water, so you can actually just use half a litre of this coffee that you've made. And in the Gerson therapy, they say to try to actually make a litre. So it's very hot, of course. So I just do this, that I add water so that it becomes about a litre of lukewarm coffee. Now we're going to go and put it into our enema bag. And I forgot to say, uh, an enema bag can, of course, because it's it's uh, <laughs> it's very closed, it's hard to keep clean. So I found the best way is to rinse it with very hot water as soon as you've used it. Um, just let it hot water run through. Put your hand in and just rub around. Um, and then, just before you're going to use it, rinse it again with hot water. Because then, if there's a bit of bacteria in there, that will be rinsed out. But if you just do the coffee enema and leave it, um, just leave what's rest in the, the whole thing, it does actually make a coffee a film, and that can be quite hard to get out. So now we're going to go and pour the coffee in. And I hope there's enough light here for us. So we've got we've got this shut, so we make sure it's not running out. And I just open that's what's a bit awkward with this. I just hold it out. And in it goes. It doesn't matter, there's a little bit of coffee stuff, what do you call it, grains or what do you call it in there. Now comes the thing you have to remember, because this is full of air, this tube. And you don't want to put air into your bum because <laughs> that's uncomfortable. So you open it up and you see the coffee, you can actually lift it a little bit and you can see now the coffee is running in. And you just let the coffee, whoops, see here we go, the coffee's coming now. And you just shut it. And now it's full of coffee and you can pour it in. So you lie down. As I showed you on your right side, you put it in to your bottom, open it up and let it run in. And sometimes you have to sort of hold hold the tube or the hold it up to make it run in completely and then you pull it out. And make sure you haven't got really uh your best clothes on because you will probably uh yeah, um we'll go back here. Here and I'll 
show you. This is what I do twice a day. And I actually... So we have this. You just lie down with this in your pants and you just lie down and relax because the coffee will be up here now in your colon and that's where you want it to be and, and if you have, a, I mean sometimes it will actually run, you know your colon, it goes up from there, it goes up and around and like that. So the coffee, if it's a little one, it will be there. Otherwise, if it's a whole liter, it might actually run into a lot of the colon. And you lie here, and I actually go into my lounge and lie on my sofa, and I light a candle, and I just breathe deeply, and I just lie there feeling very grateful <laughs> because it is so nice. It is just, I mean, it, uh, you just, I just feel I'm doing myself such a favor. And I even feel very, um, like, uh, the spirit world is very near. It's like you're just in a different state. Something very, very profound happens. And you, they say to lie here for 12 to 15 minutes and I like to lie for 20 minutes and just relax and as I said before uh, uh, as I said before if you feel I'm going to go up in the light here yeah? uh, if you feel very relaxed while you're doing your coffee and you feel re real well-being it's because it's doing its job. So you're doing the right thing for your body. Um, so that's a good a good way to know. Uh, and now after 20 minutes, I've done this for 20 minutes, I get up and I go to the toilet. And for some people, it just the coffee just doesn't come out. And that's not a problem. Um, usually it's not a problem for me, it just comes out. Uh, if it doesn't come out, it will actually, it will not damage anything. Uh, but if you uh, can squat on the toilet, that's what I do. Just uh, go down, right down, and you actually, you're actually standing on the toilet uh, seat. Uh, that is the best way, because that's the way man has uh, uh, um, done bowel movements ever since the beginning of time. They would squat onto a hole or just make a hole in the ground and squat and they know that when you're squatting you have you have put the bowel in the perfect position for um, what do you call it Ex uh, excavation <laughs> for <laughs> getting rid of uh, what's in the colon when you're sitting which they found out sitting on a chair is actually very very unhealthy and you're actually not opening up the colon properly so if at all you can uh, you have the 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 time and the energy uh, to learn to squat is a very very good thing also just for your whole well-being um, so you squat on the toilet and you might like to massage your colon and you can do that you you can actually press quite a bit and you go in in a clockwise motion you go like this and you go up up here and you this way and then you go down that way and you do that a few times uh, all this area is very soft so because there's no ribs here so it's it's very good to massage um, this area and so you go to the toilet and uh, you might feel reborn <laughs> uh, that's what I do and this is the coffee for for tonight. For and I usually do don't do that later in about than about five o'clock because if you do it late, it, it might not uh, it might affect your sleep because you do get a little bit uh, vitalized by it. I just put this cloth lid on, and so I have it ready for tonight or this evening. Um, 
So now, uh, and when, as, as I said, when you've used your enema bag, maybe just when you've done your enema, been to the toilet, rinse it with really hot water so you get that residue uh, out of the enema bag. And I want to say also, sometimes you've done a too hot uh, or too, um, too strong coffee enema. And you'll feel that if you feel dizzy or you feel strange, like sort of floating, uh, you feel it's not really right. You've probably used a bit too much coffee. So if you use three spoons, just use two next time, or maybe just one. Um, so just like in every other process, just uh, listen to your body. And um, I hope you like to try it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun and it's, it's uh, definitely good for you. So see you soon, my friends.